What do you mean? <gasps> Hello, gamers, geese, and guys. Thanks for stopping by. We're trying to find a way to get to the machine room in which there are machines. Did I walk past the door? What is happening? The guest room, is this where I was staying? Boy, they have done a number on this place. They've ransacked the place. Oh my god. Do I do anything else? Is this a hidey hole? A hidey hole. That's fine. I'm gonna keep that there. That's gonna be. I, I've got a feeling. I might need that. I have a crowbar. What do I need a crowbar for? Can I use it as a weapon? No, it's a tool allowing great leverage. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. What happened to Herbert? Right, so if someone's been through here and trounced the place, there's probably not going to be much loot left. I guess. Hmm. My god. Oh, another note. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? That's a good point, Daniel. We thought we had the orb. I thought the orb... We had the orb. I mean, I've never seen the orb. Other than that one bit of it looking a bit like the Palantiri, but... Well... S the door is stuck! Aha! Well, it's a good thing I have. So I did just make a lot of them. What do you mean?
What do you mean? Oh. No, 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 no. It doesn't know I'm here, right? It can't. I'm guessing that door was it moving way. Oh no, but that's back to where we were just, that's the safe room. Ah. Uh. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Is this why we need to kill Alexander? Has Alexander stolen our our stuff? Did he, did he want it for himself? It's precious? He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and counted nine different kings all over Europe depicted, had been depicted with an orb resting in hands. I'm really bad at reading. Who is that belonging to? That wasn't there when we left. That door was opened when we left. Oh, no. Uh. Or oh, did I close it and I just can't remember? I think I did close it and I can't remember. Oh, this is something else. This is stressful. Oh, I really want to play Oblivion again. I'm going to bring that up in every episode until I'm get sick of it. I need to go down there, don't I? Storage. I believe I recognize that name. Why does storage as an area not make me feel good? So William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Speaking of shadows... Creepy. Right, I have two tinderbox. The darkness and storage feels strange and unnatural. An important key is hidden in the guest room. One second, unnatural darkness. To be fair, yeah, I did use. I did use a crowbar on a room to only get a what's it call it a, a a letter. I I thought the letter was what we needed. Well, the letter was. We had anything. Eh. 
Uh, where? Where could be? There's an important something in the guest room. There's there's an important key somewhere in here, and I am. So let's have. Oh, I I also missed the oil. I really need to be careful to pick up everything that I possibly can. Any of these drawers? Ah, oh, laudanum. We need that. No, nothing there. Where is this? Also, how's my health doing? Got a few cuts and bruises, but otherwise, you know, nothing to uh, write home about. I thought I checked everything. Did I not? Did I really not check all the... Where else would I be hiding a key in the room? Under the pillows? Oh, ooh. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Bit creepy listening to a guy sleep. Where could key be? Definitely said there's an important key in the guest room. Where would I I key? Where would I hide a key? I mean we use the crowbar. We have we've, we've done that. I didn't want to do that. Ah uh, that was a misclick. Oh Got it! That's the machine room key, so I don't need to go into storage. Unless I have to go into storage to get parts to fix things. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go into the machine in storage to get parts to fix things. Am I gonna have to go in the machine room? Struggle my way through. Then find out that in fact what I have to do is go to storage and get parts to fix the thing in the machine. Because if it does, I'm gonna fall out with someone. So we've got the key. Oh. Hell no. I'm going to close doors behind me because I feel like if anything is going to happen then I have some semblance of like action. What is making the noise? 5th of July 1839 Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Who would kill a geologist? 
No offense to geologists, but you guys are fairly boring. That's because I went in the dark? I think that's just because I went in the dark. Okay, we're fine. My god, so many tinder boxes just hiding! How many have I missed? Oh no. I don't know how that works. Wait. One. Two. Two. Three. Oh wait. Can we stop the shin? Right, I did that wrong. Hang on, right. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Let's balance this. Balance that. Go there. Just out of interest. Let's let's see if I can be smart. So we need one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Five. 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 Never mind. I thought I was being quite clever there. Too many noises. Tractatio fluxus. Oh boy. Low. Okay. Low rider. Oh, oh. Thank you, bud. Oh. Boxes. And, and, and. Oh, loads of notes. Okay, let's read the notes. July 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. How did Alexander know? Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. I freaking knew it. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged to keep the others in the inner study rooms. There was stuff in the studies. No. I've been to the studies. I have. We went there. Ugh. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. Let's go get these. We need some things. 
And apparently we've already been to the places and just completely missed whatever was in there. Sounds right to me. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and they collapsed on the floor. Oh, we, we've read that bit. We've done that one. Hey, we've been through so many doors, we've read all the lore. Gosh, damn it. That is vaguely frustrating. We went in the study. Oh, no. No. Because that blood trail leads this way. And also the body is just straight up back there. I threw that over the banister. There's something in the study now when I could have got it earlier, when it was safe. I know Kung Fu. We are looking for levers. And I don't know what they look like. That's just that's just the dog again. That's just the dog again. That's fine. What the dog doing best? Please. Anything else in here? We're looking for some kind of sticks, definitely. Something to do. Some kind of levers, right? That was it. Levers for the thing. Hey, why would they be in the studies? Why would we leave them in the studies? What was this door? I thought that was a different door opening there. Why does that feel like that's really close, but I know it's not. Oh, it's the baby Jesus again. Where are the sticks? Not hiding behind any more painting. What it would look like. Study? I'm not seeing any levers. I think that's the first genuine jump scare they've got me with. <laughs> oh, that was that was rude. That was so rude. I got massively got. That was. Oh boy. Right, back to trying to find these bloody levers. After that. God, I can't believe I've come back all this way. Oh, I missed the thing. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induced stress, which seems to trigger an endogen, 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 in dog, dog. In a dog response, causing the animal to burst with energy, I believe. The catalyst is produced in brain. I believe that the catalyst... I just read that bit. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent 
problem in harvesting this energy since the creature was bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to an of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be formed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of error. My big question is, if I do break that window, is something gonna turn up? get me because I'm going to be making a lot of noise if I do that like freaky amount of noise I also feel like surely it wouldn't bring my attention to the window if there wasn't a special right yeah <laughs> Side. Can I? Oh no, surely not. Uh. I don't think the sanity boost is going to last very long. Oh my god, this. Flesh everywhere. Oh boy. Anyone home? These things. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind is not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you. I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who in all fairness should have entered that gate. Who is entering what gate now? What did Agrippa do? did Cornelius get up to? Wow. Loads of goodies. Okay. Well, got a decent amount out of that. Ah! Lever! If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure on inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8, down 8. That's what we've got to do. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity Steam. That's the triangle set functions. Four phase amplitudes. What? Complete steam flow cycle. I have no idea what any of that means. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods... Are inserted. We have to get all the rods. And we have to insert them. Be for me, I guess. Oh, you're just here. Anything in here? <gasps> yes. Well, I feel like we've actually kind of achieved something. Yeah. Boy, here, here. Oh, 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 Daniel. Daddy now, boy. Why is the trees falling? Hope I don't fall. 